Hello Sagittarius! Welcome to your general love read. This is for September 28th through October 4th. However, time is fluid. I tried to get my stinker child to let me have my office back long enough to do your two videos and she said no. And then I reminded her that she has a birthday coming up and she said no. So we will see how that works out for her, huh? I will be glad when pest control comes and they spray her room and she can go back in there and I can have my office back. It's the tiny things in life, right? All right, so this is a general love read. It may or may not resonate. I could be picking up on third party interference and roles can be reversed, okay? At the end of this, I will go to an extended where I will look at the flip side energy the link for that is down below in the description box, as is my IG handle, my link for donations, the link for personal readings, and the link for the blog post about all of the decks, okay? So I'm going to start by pulling out for the collective for my Mindset Unicorn deck, all right? And then I am going to pull out the intention and lay out the foundation, and then I will go through all of that with you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. The resistance. Okay. Um, I'm going to try this weekend as soon as I get Tiny Monster Bean out of my office on Sunday, I am going to try to do the October forecasts, okay? Now I do the card for the collective so that if there's nothing else in this reading for you and you turn away from it, you've gotten some sort of advice from spirit, okay? onto how to um, better your happiness and existence, okay? So you get breathe, all right? I can't see without my glasses. I gotta put my glasses on. It's too dark down here. Okay, today breathe in slowly and deeply, holding on to gratitude for the refreshing energies that revitalize your soul. The uh, quote is, feelings come and go like clouds in a windy sky. Conscious breathing is my anchor. Okay, now one thing that um, a lot of people don't realize is that just by breathing, you are releasing um, DMT into your brain, which is that hallucinogen like compound okay hallucinogenic hallucinogenic compound in like magic mushrooms okay so you are effectively giving yourself that lift up all right just by taking a few minutes and breathing okay the intention here is that okay you are in comparison right now past and future past person, future person, where you're at now, where you want to be, okay? One of those choices is very grounded, very rooted, very solid. The other one seems like it is like over the top. It could be kind of um, like the anti-choice, okay? Um, but there's, because it's bamboo, there's this sense of luck, okay? So overall energy is that you're looking to harvest in order to start something anew, okay? And in the past energy, it was this energy of something falling apart. And by falling apart, it was a relationship and... Um, it doesn't have to be with your lover. It could be with anyone. And it caused a lot of heartbreak, okay? Caused a lot of things to start moving around in your head, all right? 
you are currently pulled back in this hermit mode. So you could be dealing with a lot of energy, a lot of um, energetic sort of storms, kind of unsure if you are still wishing for the same things, but there is a rebirth coming, okay, in your future energy. So let's clarify a little bit. Okay, you want to harvest for happiness for a higher level commitment here, okay? That's what you want. Now, if you think about the sun, okay, as being this item that is um, this brilliant, shining light, okay, that touches everything, nourishes everything in its path. Um, that's why it is like that sign of grand happiness, right? But it is like a self fulfilling energy. Okay. So the things that you're wishing for, all right, the things that you desire are things that you are shining the light on in a self fulfilling, self propelling sort of an energy here. Okay. But you really want the higher level commitment. Like there's, and it feels like You've gone back and forth on this a few times where, no, I want to be free. I don't ever want to have that kind of a relationship again. But in truth, that's what you want. Okay. Okay. Whatever happened in the past, whatever broke apart here, kind of caused you to go really far inward, okay? And um, it was almost like reaffirming for you that, okay, that's not what I want. Um, but still, that's the energy that you are moving towards. But it's really kind of, it's like it's an undertone, okay? because there's a lot of hard work that you're putting into everything else in your life, almost as a distraction energy, so that you're not thinking about the things that you want. Um, and it could be that you're still working out energy about what family means to you. And so it's that undertone energy, okay? Okay, currently, this hermit mode, this storm, there's this feeling that this person is never going to come forward, okay? And it kind of has you thinking, well, maybe this wasn't what I wished for. Maybe this isn't what I desire, right? But divine timing is at play here to bring something new into your life, okay? Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. Okay, I do feel like this rebirth, okay, is going to bring this king, okay, this king of pentacles, this person that's stable and solid, they're not really all that outgoing, okay, they are kind of keeping to themselves sort of a person, and it is going to be very different than what you are accustomed to, and you're going to kind of resist it a little bit at first, okay, and then I feel like you're going to allow this sort of step forward. 
I feel like that's for most of you. There is a small portion of you because the bottom of the deck here is showing me the seven of cups that might let this person from the past try to come back in because they're a little more fun and a little more, you know, playful. And there's this part of you that might be afraid of somebody that is so stable and serious, okay? That's too many. Thank you. Yeah, in truth, you do feel the energy coming towards you, all right? And in your heart of hearts, the idea of getting married again, of getting engaged, is not as scary as you like to think that it is. You can envision yourself with the big long veil and how that sort of an energy would balance you out. Okay, there may have been a lot of lack and a lot of heartache, okay, within your childhood. And you tend to put a lot of those foundationary items, money, abundance, stability, um, home, all of those survival sort of energies, you tend to put all of those in your heart chakra, okay? And so when you think about family, you don't get love. You get all of those undertones, okay? And that's what I feel like kind of freaks you out a little bit here. Okay. King of Cups, clarified here by King of Cups, bringing you balance from the imbalance, making you pause, okay? Because it is, again, love, right? Okay, there's something about this sort of boring nature of this person that triggers something in you and makes you feel it's something from the past and um, it makes you not want to move forward. Okay, there's something that you feel like there's like a magic missing. Okay. Okay, there is this energy, however, all right, 
even if this person from the past isn't going to come back forward, you are going to bring the baggage of that into this relationship. All right. And so even if you move forward with this person and you're like in my highest, you know, my high priestess energy, I'm pretty sure that this is where I'm going to, I'm meant to be and that this is a good person. You're treading very slowly, very, very slowly into this with the page of pentacles in, in reverse, because there's something about it that just is so different for you. Okay. Yeah, this will be a new beginning. It will be very abundant, but you're going to have to really, you're going to be looking at it more with your logic than with your heart um, when you decide to move forward on it. And when you do take the action forward to it, um, I feel like you're going to be very vocal, very, very vocal about this is who I am. This is what I need. This is what you need to know. I can't move forward unless you understand X, Y, and Z. And you sign right here on the contracted line. I don't know how that's going to work out for you there. Okay. Because it slows down the love. It really does. Okay. Spirit is saying, listen, okay. If you do not want to keep repeating cycles, you have to allow all of that stuff still stuck in your heart chakra to get the hell out. All right. Breathe it out. Those lungs are in your heart chakra. That's probably why breath came out. And bamboo is green. Healing color of the heart. All right. So I'm going to move to the extended, see what's going on on the flip side. And I hope to see you guys there. All right. Bye.